Hello everyone, welcome to the How to Apply as an International Student live session. Before we start, we have a couple of housekeeping notes for you to be aware of. This event is being recorded live. There will be a live question and answer function running through the presentation, so please submit any questions you have using the chat box to the right of your screens. We will answer as many as we can towards the end of the session. If you see a question that you would also like to know the answer to, please like it so we can ensure the most popular questions are being answered. I'm now going to hand over to Jenny from our international admissions team to tell you how to apply as an international student. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jenny Kinsey and I work in the international admissions team here at the University of Derby. So you can contact our team with any questions you might have about applying and then once you've applied to check the progress of your application. So I'm going to speak briefly today about entry criteria, how to apply and English language criteria. And you'll then have a chance to ask any questions you might have. So before we start, I just wanted to tell you a bit more about why more than 1,700 international students a year from over 100 countries choose the University of Derby for where to study in the UK. So Derby is a really safe and welcoming city in the heart of the UK and has a low cost of living when compared to other UK cities and it has great, great transport connections to the rest of the UK. We have a really diverse and multicultural student community, which is supported by the best international student centre in the UK. And we provide advice and support throughout your time with us. So starting right from your application, which we'll be talking about in today's session, right through to graduation and beyond. So in the past 10 years, the university has invested around 200 million pounds on study, sport, recreation and wellness facilities to ensure that we provide the best possible experience for our students. Our student accommodation is award winning and a great place for you to make new friends and to feel at home. So Derby has a significant strength in teaching and learning, which is reflected in our achievements. We're very proud to be rated gold in the Teaching Excellence and Student Outcomes Framework, and we are top 30 in the Guardian University Guide 2020. So the university offers a wide range of undergraduate courses um, in business, engineering, science, health and art subjects. So we'll have a look now at the entry criteria for some of our programmes. So each course has its own entry criteria, so it's best to check the website for the most up to date qualifications. So at the moment, the website is showing the typical entry criteria for both 2020 and 2021 if you're completing a tariffable qualification. You can also find the international qualifications we accept for entry onto a course at the link here in the slide. So you'll be able to see entry requirements for individual countries. So, for example, the screenshot here is showing the entry criteria for Ghana and it tells you what programmes you would be eligible to apply for, depending on the qualification you're currently completing. So you can see here in the example, if you wanted to apply for an undergraduate programme, what would we be looking for? So we'd be looking for um, an ordinary national diploma or a higher national diploma. So on each course page, you'll also be able to find the programme leader's email address. So if you have any specific questions about the content of that course, you can always go directly to the programme leader. Or if you have any general queries, you can contact either the International Recruitment Officer for your country 
or contact us at the international admissions team. And on the side there, we've just got our email address, which is iadmissions at derby.ac.uk. So all applications to the university must be submitted online and all students, whether you're EU or international, will need to apply through the relevant course page on our website. So if you did want to apply for more than one programme or at more than one institution, we would recommend that you apply through UCAS um, because you can make up to five choices. But if you just want to apply to Derby or if you just want to apply for one programme, you can apply directly to us on our website. So we also work with a network of educational recruitment agents in most countries around the world and they would be able to support your application. And so you can contact any of our agents and apply to study with us directly through them. Some agents do charge for provision of services, so please do check directly with the agent. And you can find your nearest recruitment agent on our website at derby.ac.uk forward slash agents. So when you're completing your application, you'll go through our online application form. Um, first of all, you'll enter things like your personal details, work experience, and then there's a number of documents you'll be asked to submit. So you'll need to have the following information available. So qualification details, including certificates and transcripts for any qualification that you've already been awarded or details about any qualifications you're currently studying. You'll need a scanned copy of your passport. You'll need to complete a personal statement which shows your interest for the course or subject. You'll need to provide a relevant reference from a manager, supervisor or tutor. And you'll need to show proof of your English language proficiency. If you're an applicant from India, Pakistan or Bangladesh, you will also require IELTS. For many European countries, we accept the English grade on your high school qualification and we do also accept a range of other English language tests including the Derby English language test. So we accept all UKVI approved tests. Most of our programmes require IELTS 6 with a minimum of 5.5 in all areas. But you can also find the English language requirements that you'll need on the course page. So some programmes do require um, IELTS 6.5. We also accept the International GCE O level in English language, grade C or above, or the IGCSE or English as a second language. So due to the current situation with COVID-19, we're also accepting some additional qualifications for entry in September 2020 only. So we're accepting TOEFL online, the IELTS online indicator and the Derby English language test. Um, that's a recent test which has just been developed, but if you're applying to us through an agent, your agent will have details of this. And we also accept Duolingo from applicants from mainland China. So once your application has been submitted, you'll receive an email confirmation um, so that will go back to the email account that you registered with. So please do ensure that you check your email regularly. And you'll also receive an offer letter, again, as a PDF attachment to an email. So from admissions, we don't send anything out in the post. So you will need to ensure that you check that email regularly. So once you've met the conditions of your offer and you've accepted an unconditional offer from us, you'll need to pay a £3,000 tuition fee deposit. 
So EEA students, that's students from Norway and Iceland, are not required to pay the deposit if you're in receipt of loan funding. And the £3,000 deposit is only refundable in the event that your visa is refused. So you'll also need to provide evidence of maintenance funds um, in order to receive your CAS letter or your confirmation of acceptance to study. And that's the document that you need when applying for your tier four visa. And further details on the maintenance funds can be found on our website. If you're an EU student, you'll need to have your financial arrangements in place at the point of enrolment, and you would need to make a payment of 20% of your fees by the 1st of November, or you would need to provide confirmation that you had student loan funding. So course fees do vary depending on which course you choose and depending on whether you're an EU or international student and also on the mode of study. So you might choose to study on campus or online. For the latest fee information, you will need to check the individual course page on our website. So we have a range of scholarships and discounts available, um, both to international students from countries in the European economic area and outside the EU. And these offer a reduction in your fees during your first year of study. Uh, students from EU countries are not currently eligible for the international scholarships. So we'll award scholarships based on your application to study. You don't need to complete an additional form. And any application from an eligible student will be considered for a scholarship by our international admissions team. We would then notify you of your scholarship at the point we made you an offer and we would apply the discount to your remaining fees. So to be eligible for a scholarship, you must be applying for a full time degree. And applications for our postgraduate research, online, foundation courses or pre-sessional English language programmes are not eligible for a discount or scholarship. So our scholarships for September 2021 are still to be confirmed. Um, but I can tell you about the scholarships that we've had for the 2020 academic year. So one of those has been our Vice Chancellor's Scholarship, which was for one full year's tuition fees. So to be considered for that, um, students had to achieve their highest academic results exceeding the entry criteria for the course and they had to demonstrate exceptional achievements in extracurricular activity either in their own time or through employment in the last two years. We also have some additional scholarships worth £5,000 or £3,000 off tuition fees and there's a further £500 discount if you paid your tuition fees in full by the time of enrolment. So terms and conditions do apply to our discounts and offers, so please do check our website for full details and eligibility. And if you need any help um, with the application process, you can contact our admissions team. And once again, please visit the website for more detail on applications or international requirements. So the final thing to say is there's no deadline for applications, but it is important that you leave enough time to sort out your visa. So please do check what the current visa processing times are in your country. I hope that's been useful. Um, and again, we've just got our email address on there. So if you've got any questions, please do email international at derby.ac.uk. Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you, Thank you very much, very Jenny. Much. So uh, we're just going to move along now to the question and answer part of our session. And we've been joined by Jodie, who's also part of the international team here at Derby. 
Hello. Hello. Hi, Jodie. Um, so, uh, one of the first questions that's come in is from Sydney. Okay. Uh, for, for an honours programme, what are the equivalent American prerequisites? Okay, so we do have um, entry requirements information for each country on the website and the requirements will depend on which course you're applying for. Um, just as a rough example though for an American applicant, we would usually be looking for a GPA of three or higher plus SATs, APs or ACTs. Um, however, each application is considered on an individual basis and as I said, it, it very much depends what course you're applying for as there may be additional things that we need such as an interview or a portfolio as well. Thank you, Judy. Okay, next question um, is about the um, BA Honours Film Production Programme, so it ends from Nick Hill. Hello, just wanted to know, is there a requirement for a portfolio submission in order to get admitted onto the BA Honours Film Production Programme? So that's quite course specific. Can you can you answer that one? Uh, yeah, I can do, yes. The, so there is portfolio requirements for, for some of the programmes. Film production is one of those. Um, and it's usually expected that you'd submit a, a portfolio of work or a showreel, just demonstrating uh, your, your technical abilities in that subject area. Again, there's some quite specific information on what your portfolio should contain and how it should look. That's also available on the website. Um, so it's worth, worth having a look at the film production course page and following the link for the portfolio advice on there. OK, um, thank you. So we've got another question from Sydney. Uh, when do applications open for 2021 uh, slash 2022 school year? Um, so for applications direct to Derby through through the Derby course pages, uh, that, that should be later in the year, I, I believe. I think once the, the current, once the, um, the next intake has begun, the applications usually start opening then. However, I think that applications via UCAS are currently open for students to apply for 2021, but applying directly to Derby, that will be coming very soon. Right. Thank you. Uh, and then there's just one last question about Europe. Uh, what's going to happen with the loans to Europe students once the Brexit happens, uh, completely happens? Um, well, I, th I think at the moment it's about wait, waiting and seeing, unfortunately. Uh, to, I, I think we're, we're still a little unsure about what exactly will happen in that regard. However, we do have a recruitment officer for Europe, um, a lady called Michaela. The best thing to do would be to speak to Michaela as she, she will have the latest information as soon as that's available. She'll also be able to offer some reassurance as well as guide you with your, your application and answer any questions about EU entry requirements as well as that is her, her specialist area. So I would certainly recommend contacting Michaela. Her details are on the university website. Um, if you take a look at, at the website and follow the link for, for Europe, then you'll be able to find Michaela's details there. Fantastic, thank you. OK, that's all the questions that we've had today. Thank you very much for um, joining us today. We hope that's been useful to you. Uh, for more information, you can go to our website, um, derby.ac.uk forward slash international, or you can get in touch with us at international at derby.ac.uk. Thank you very much, Jodie and Jenny. Um, we look forward to welcoming you as students at the University of Derby soon. Goodbye. <laughs>